What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Barnetta and I make videos about living simply, positively, and authentically. So if that speaks to you, then please subscribe. I would love to have you here with me on this journey. I am coming to you with very fresh skin today. And that is a first for this channel and something I'm excited and also a little daunted to do because, you know, it's always a little bit intense revealing your fresh face to the world. But I'm excited to say that I'm going to be making a get ready with me video featuring my go-to minimalist makeup routine that has lots of cruelty-free favorites in it. And it is also a collaboration video with Lauren from the Honest Beauty Review channel. Hi Lauren. She is fantastic guys. You have to go check her out. I will be linking to her YouTube channel and Instagram down below. She is all about sharing like her channel says, honest reviews because her main pet peeve is when a consumer is misled. So her goal is to always bring you guys the truth. And she also does anywhere from drugstore to high end reviews of both beauty and skincare. And she's exceptionally knowledgeable. My favorite video from her is her dry skin foundation review because I do have dry skin myself. And I know I have a lot to learn about makeup and she is super knowledgeable. So go say hi to her on on her channel and Instagram, but let's get right into today's video. Here we go. To start things off, I'm gonna go in with this Becca foundation. It's called the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation, and I love this because it is fantastic for dry skin. Ironically, Lauren also reviewed this product in her dry skin video I talked about earlier. The only downside about this product is that it kind of pools around the edges of the cap, but it really is a fantastic like medium coverage but very dewy finish product and I don't do this every day but I'll do it for the sake of this video so you can have a more like full coverage put together look but let's get right into it I just take the applicator and then I take this little dropper that it has and kind of dab around my face trying to do this through the viewfinder is very hard I don't know how all of these amazing and talented beauty bloggers do this. So like I said, I don't do this every single day because I don't have time for it and I really do enjoy the way my skin looks naturally. But when I do it, I like to have it for just some red redness coverage. And I also tend to use a beauty blender. This is actually a sponge just from EcoTools, so not a full named beauty blender. This is a cruelty free company as well. But I have just never really liked the way brushes apply my makeup and if you are using a beauty blender or sponge just make sure you clean it regularly to ensure that it is all nice and clean when you put it on your face. So now that I have on my foundation I'm gonna go in with IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer. Now I have to be honest with you guys IT Cosmetics was acquired by L'Oreal and L'Oreal is not a cruelty free brand even though IT Cosmetics is. So technically this is cruelty free but with a little bit of a cost or a profit for a non-cruelty free company unfortunately. This is a legacy product in my collection and so is this IT Cosmetics powder. So I'm working through them and I'm going to be upgrading to a cruelty free concealer and powder in the future. So I have talked about this in the past a lot but I have very translucent, transparent skin that is quite fair and I feel like their concealers have been able to work for my dark circles the best. So if you have any recommendations sound off in the comment section down below. I forgot to mention that that Becca foundation is in the shade Porcelain. So that is their lightest shade. I know that there has been a very big push in the beauty community to have more inclusive shade ranges. Becca at least is not super diverse in their shade ranges. And that's unfortunate because it's hard I feel like um, for someone who has very fair skin to find the best product and even for someone who has the darkest skin tone. So I'm going to be really looking to be aware of the shade ranges from whomever I purchase from in the future. Again, for all this stuff, sound off in the comment section down below, especially if you're coming from Lauren's channel because I'm sure you guys are so knowledgeable from over there. So now that I have my foundation and my concealer on, I'm going to move right into this translucent powder again. But I am going to be using an Eco Tools powder brush to put this powder in. I tend to just flip the, the product over and put it in the cap and then just go over any area that will crease. I don't get too crazy with this. I still like to have a kind of dewy finish, but I'm well aware that concealers and foundation will crease around my eye. 
you know, I've talked about this before, but I'm not like super young anymore. I'm going to be 28 in June and I like to try and not over powder around my eyes because I don't want any fine lines to be working in there. But I have felt like this powder doesn't cause me to look old or anything, which is great. And if I feel like I apply too much, I just take the beauty sponge and blot it right off again. So now that I have my powder all on, I'm going to be moving on to doing my eyebrows. And I've talked about this in the past, but I love the Anastasia duo brow powder and this is in the shade ebony i have very very dark hair so it's it's not exactly black but it's very very dark brown if that is your hair color this will work great for you there are two powders in this again anastasia beverly hills is a cruelty free company and i love this product because it has two shades of brown in it this side is very dark and this one's a little less dark brown this is the one i use primarily but sometimes i use this on maybe like the tail of my brow but as for this brush it is a little bit wide so if you're going to invest in the eco tools products just be aware that you can't get the most exceptionally tapered brows and i've always been someone who just likes a really natural brow i think anyone can do whatever brow shape they want i'm lucky to have pretty decent brows naturally it might be a little hairy right now but i don't care this brush works really well for me because it's not i'm not looking to have the most tapered eyebrow on this planet. I just like to fill in the gaps that I'm missing. After I finish my brows, I go right into my blush. And this is the Peachy Cheeky Baked Blush from ELF Cosmetics. It is actually like a semi-highlighter. And I am so in love with this, you guys. I've had it for forever, I feel like. I'm not sure how long it's been maybe i feel like almost a year is that gross like i don't know i just i don't need a ton of it i have read reviews on it people saying that it's a little bit too light but i like a very subtle blush and this is like the perfect color for me i don't even know if it's showing up on camera but in real life i think it just looks super subtle and like i said for me i want my blush to be subtle i've never been someone who loves this very vibrant cheek. Um, I remember growing up, my mom was always like, why don't you put on some blush? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I like being pale. But that definitely is, oh, I'm losing hair. But that definitely is kind of like the bane of a pale person's existence, right? Told you're looking like a ghost all the time and I've heard that for sure and I feel like this just gives me the right amount of color to go about the day not looking like I'm a vampire like everyone suspects. Now that my brows are done and my cheeks are done I'm gonna move right into using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Romance palette. I talked about this in my cruelty free favorites for February. I just filmed that pretty recently. It's an amazing palette that has lots of nudes and just the right amount of color like accessible colors right these nice berry tones anyone could use and i feel like you could have it if you're just a beginner with makeup or you need a really nice neutral palette to add to your collection also it's lovely this packaging is just gorgeous and i love the color and i love the way it looks in my makeup shelf but right now i just want to have something super simple so i'm going to go in with this color tempura right here and then i'll probably finish it off with warm taupe and, and i like feel like tempura is just the perfect base color for someone who has a very very fair complexion but even if you have a deeper complexion it would allow those other colors that you build upon it to really pop and like i said i'm going to go in with warm taupe I think I'm gonna add a little bit of something to this look. So I'm gonna go right in with Cypress Umber over here in the corner. So I'm gonna get a darker brown. And now I'm gonna go right in with this pearlescent white color called Vermeer and just put that on the center of my eyelid with my finger. And then to finish this look, I took this little double-sided smudge brush to blend under the eye. I'm not the biggest eyeliner fan, I'll be honest. I feel like it can be a little bit more 
tassel than it's worth so I will just tend to do something like this that I find a little bit more simple and that I can control a little more. So finally now that I am all set with my look for the most part I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. I have certainly gone through so many mascaras. I made only one other makeup video in addition to this on my channel and if you go back through that archive in that video I talk about how I'm trying to move into all cruelty free makeup and I unfortunately was using CoverGirl at that time and I had already tried Better Than Sex Mascara, um, a Stiletto Lash Mascara, but even though all of those mascaras work really well for a lot of people, they didn't work for me. They either got really clumpy, they had a lot of fallout, or they in general just wore underneath my eyes so they like transferred. And then to finish up this look I'm gonna go right in with the Gen Nude Bare Minerals Liquid Lip Lacquer that was hard to say in the shade Boy Toy. I also talked about this one in ooh, in my favorites video uh, for cruelty free favorites and it's really amazing. This is so moisturizing. So you can see just how pretty this lip lacquer is. If you're not a person who likes a sticky finish for your lipsticks or lip glosses then this would be for you but if you do tend to have very dry lips and you're not into like liquid lipsticks this is amazing and now let me just zoom out so you can see this finished look so this is the finished look you guys thank you for hanging out with me and I hope that this video helped you out to just do a very simple routine I will link to every single product in the description box down below like I said these are all cruelty free products 100% except the it cosmetics in a way even though they technically still are and another big shout out to Lauren from the honest beauty review thanks for doing this video with me girl you are fantastic and I will see you guys all in the next one remember that there is no one like you you are loved and you're beautiful inside I will see you later. Bye!